everybody hope you're doing great please check out the description box for all the nice links drop a like subscribe press the bell icon if you like the content check out the top right eye for more nice links today is all about classes quote unquote in lua the reason i say that because lua is a little special and i'll try to explain it as best i can for you guys but let's start off with making a simple class here we're going to be working with the entity and player classes and also try to eventually print out or, or draw a sprite but let's start with these simple classes what i'm going to do is i'm going to create some organization here i'm going to right click on my project here and i'm going to add a new filter and i'm just going to name it lua and i'm going to shove lua states in there and i'm going to add a new filter within that new filter called entity and this is going to contain my entity class but it's going to be a lua file it's not a c plus plus class like that so i want you to do a new item leave this at whatever it is and just call it empty t.lua don't forget the dot lua extension there's very important once you do that you'll have a lua file which is completely empty very very normal and then you will have hopefully some kind of organization here now of course you can do this any way you like don't worry about having exactly like i have it maybe you have a different compiler or different ide you want to do it a different way just go ahead and do it any way you like as long as it works as long as you can you can work and follow this tutorial when that's done i want you to create a entity class and in Lua everything is a table so this is where my explanation starts thinking everything of everything as arrays and tables which are very very flexible in themselves is better in Lua so when you're working in C++ you have this hard-coded nice way of working object oriented right you have you can create a class structs all these things you don't have that in Lua necessarily you can do anything you like in Lua and everything is a table pretty much we can make a table and hacks fix it in a way that it will act as a class and it might not be perfect it might might not be working just like you would like it to but there are ways to fix it now this is my way of creating a class there are different ways since it is so flexible there are better ways probably so let's get started what i do is i call my table entity like that and i'll create an empty table out of this um, the way you do that is you assign empty brackets to it now this is just a regular table i could say entity.a equals 20 and then i can print that out that would have added a variable called a into my table but of course that's not what we're doing we want to create a class this part is going to confuse you a little bit if you don't already know lua and it does confuse me trust me so i'm setting the entities index variable to itself as this will confuse you but i'm going to just complete the class before i explain all this because you need all the parts together to explain it properly next step is to create the actual constructor and of course we write the keyword function in lua and the quote-unquote class name here colon can't tell you how many Many times you'll you might get an error because you don't use a colon use a dot instead don't do that whenever you're working with functions in lua always use colon or the colon operator because even if you're calling it you need to use colon so you'll see that you'll probably get a lot of errors from that but if you ever do make sure you check that first so variables dot and then functions colon now we're going to call it new you can call it create you can call it anything construct but i'm just going to call it new it's nice and simple and i'm going to end it i'm going to give a number variable in here just because i want to show you guys the constructing then we're going to get to the next confusing part. We're going to create a local table inside our table called this and also make brackets. But I do it this way. I put the brackets below because this is going to be our list of member variables. This is going to be our list of member variables. So that might confuse you. I might say this a lot, but right now I mean the actual table this. And the reason I call it this is because later on when you create a instance of this quote unquote class or table, you're going to refer to this a lot. But first of all, let's not get confused. Let's say my num equals number. Of course, this is the local variable and this is basically our member variable. But as of right now, it's not complete. So we can't really say that. If you want to add more things, make sure to add a comma and then add whatever you want after that. But if it's your last line, if it's your last member variable, don't use a comma there. So leave it, leave it like that and whenever it's your last one. All right, otherwise you're going to run into a lot of errors that's why we don't have a comma here now once you have this done all you're doing is basically creating a local table here it's nothing special this is where the special things happen this is what actually makes this a lua quote-unquote class go ahead and do set meta table this is very very interesting it's a very powerful functionality in lua i'm gonna set meta table this to self and then i'm gonna return this it's very important you do it in this order first we're telling lua something here and then we're returning this so we're actually changing something in the table this and then returning it let me explain now what's going on so this is kind of tough here now i want to explain all of this this magical meta 
meta table set meta table is kind of like an inheritance thing so the best way to show you guys is with an example so i'm going to create an entity here let's call it my ent and let's say how we would create an entity we'd say entity dot new that's our new beautiful function that we created when we do this my ent becomes a table from the return value of this new function from entity all right so just i'm going to try to explain this once and then we'll keep working and you i promise you'll understand this as you work with this just try to think of it just try to think on it sleep on it and i promise it will sink in but right now it might be confusing but let me give you the best example i can so now this contains this right my ent now has an instance of entity which is the table of this so technically my ent contains my number right because we returned this and that's now shoved into my entity my entity is now a copy of that let's see what happened then before we returned the local table here then we set the meta table to it to entity that means that whenever I do my ent dot a, that will grab it from whatever data I copied here. But if there was a function called, let's do a function entity print. That's a good function to have end. And this will print something like that. It will print whatever. That means that whenever I call it my ent colon print, what's gonna happen is that Lua is gonna go looking at the meta table for my ent. First, it's going to check if it has a meta table and that meta table will be entity. Since we set its meta table before we sent it out, that meta table will be entity. That means it will look for this function in that class name, in that name, in that meta table. And it will find it because function doesn't belong to this my end or this. It belongs to entity. So anytime Lua can't find something in this, in its local, in the table that we return, it will go looking in the meta table, which is entity. Try to wrap your head around that. It's very complex, I understand, but it's just like inheritance. Think of it as like a hierarchy here. Anytime you need help with this, please let me know in the comment section because this can be confusing, but once you get it, it will be great. Now we have an entity class. Let's keep working here. We'll keep all of this stuff. Our entity is obviously not gonna have a number, but we'll keep it for testing. Let us create a new class here again, and this is gonna be inheriting from entity. So I just want to have this set up for the next video. That's why I'm doing this. Let's call it player.lua. Don't forget the .lua here. Add it. Let's copy everything from entity and just paste it in here. We don't need to worry too much. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to remove the last function. We're going to set this to player instead. So player is an empty table and then players index is player. And then we're going to call this player new, not entity new. And I'll keep the number part here. In this, we're going to call entity or you can call it base if you want base uh, i'll call it base equals entity new with the number like that and we will do just leave this as it is this creates a new player table and does the same thing we did in entity but now it's called player and inside the player we have a member variable member object which is a base to this class which is created which gets allocated a new entity object and this might be confusing as well this is a semi good way of doing it there are better ways to do it where you can play around with the index and meta table we'll get to that eventually but for now this is a simple way of doing it what you need to do is of course require entity don't write entity.lua here this is like an include but for lua so we're including everything from this file we're kind of just pasting copy pasting the whole file into here and then we're doing this that's how the includes work in lua what i can do in game state is i can include my require player here and that will copy paste the player code in here and we can create a new player so player equals player new and give it a number two like that and then we can say player dot base my num and that will print that out for me beautifully let's run this and you'll see a nice number two right there there you go guys this is a very basic class here this is an okay way of doing it just like i said but there are better ways we will play around with that but this is a good way to start off that's why i'm giving you guys this if you already know a better way of doing it please do it this is fine for starters i think that's enough for now guys thank you so much for watching thanks for sticking with me i i thought we'd go faster than we did but there's a lot of things to explain but keep learning keep working hard and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye